this spring training, Salone Park has been celebrating its 10th year of being the home of the Chicago Cubs. Since it opened in 2014, the ballpark has set multiple attendance records, but as Cronkite News reporter Jonah Krell tells us, it's more than just a place for Cubs fans to watch their favorite team. Sloan Park is about tradition, family, and yeah, some baseball mixed in too. Season ticket holder for 40 years. Been a season ticket holder here in spring training but for about the last eight or nine. I've been raising money for the 50-50 raffle since Sloan Park but even before that at the Hohokam Stadium. I've been on this same beer stand since the park opened. So I've got a lot of regulars, including that guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Sloan Park is in its 10th year, it's actually only been Sloan Park nine years. The first year it was just Cubs Park. But my point is, in the nine years I've been coming down, I see the same people every year. And it is amazing. And I don't talk to them from April 1st till about mid-February when I report again. You know, I think of Sloan Park and I think of baseball and sunshine. And all these people that you're going to see today, I did not know these people if it wasn't for spring training and the Cubs. I met them by coming to spring training and just sitting together and hanging. And now it's like family. You know, we tailgate every day and we got to set up right outside the stadium. It's beautiful. I think that's what Sloan means more than anything. It's just the community. For me, I, mean, I work and I sell tickets to season ticket holders. So I look forward to seeing them every spring. You know, it's, a, it's the Cubs family. You know, that's what this becomes. You guys ready? It just seems like it opened a couple of years ago. They keep it up great. I mean, the paint, it's painted the dark green like Wrigley. They keep it spick and span, and it's nice. Plus, it's got one of the biggest capacities in all of spring training, so we'll get 15,000 or more here for some games. Vienna beef hot dogs are the only hot dogs served, and Budweiser, which is in Chicago, but it's Midwest, and it's really, it really does have a mini Wrigley feel which I feel like the other spring training parks, no offense, I don't think they've encapsulated what they have in their home park down here as well as, as I think we have. It's not necessarily about baseball in the spring. It's about just being here and especially when all my friends are back in Chicago and freezing their little booties off, so. Look at what we got today. From the fans to the food to the fan experience, come down here, participate. Don't have to be a Cubs fan, but I guarantee you'll leave one. A Cubs and you fan. love Chicago dogs. She loves the Chicago hot dogs.